So guys, today we are going to be doing yet another EDC review on a pretty awesome belt. The one here on the table is the click belt. And this particular click belt is in the slate olive coloration and is the two millimeter duty belt thickness. So without any further ado, as always guys, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe if you want to see more awesome reviews like this. And let's get into it. You this. guys cannot manage this kind of crowded, kind of crowded surface. I tried to fit some of the most regularly carried and kind of heavy objects onto this uh, tabletop for review, just so you guys could get an idea of the kinds of things that I carry every single day with this belt and I first off want to say, as you guys can see here, I do carry quite a lot of heavy gear, gear that is definitely not light. And I have used this belt through quite a different, or quite a few different applications, whether it's bushcrafting, hunting, um, everyday carry mostly. And I've pushed it into a lot of different applications. And I have to say that this belt, say this belt, through the past few months of me owning it, has been quite an amazing belt, and it's vastly rose up the ranks of all my uh, duty belts that are meant to carry guns, meant to support a lot of weight, including the uh, leather belt, the old war old world harness if I can speak today uh, that Ashley usually wears. I wore it for a little while but for the most part I really did not love it. I mean it's a great belt as far as a leather belt goes but it is just not my style and I fastly drew to the Cobra belt or the Click belt which is this belt here and I have to say through my ownership of it it has been an impressive little belt that I have really enjoyed uh, using every single day most almost every single day for the past around two and a half months starting off with the primary reasons that I love this belt if you guys can't already get an idea of some of the heavier stuff that I carry what I what draws me to this belt so many times in an EDC format and even in the outdoors format is the fact that it has a very small profile to it and I don't mean this waist size that's obviously adjusted but this thickness here it's a very thin belt as you you guys can see and this is like my thumb for comparison it's a very very thin belt but at the same time the way that they've stitched this second layer the second millimeter so to speak of fabric has made it insanely rigid as you guys can see it does not really want to twist or bend or deform it's very very strong it's very stiff but at the same time, it is also very pliable. So it's a very comfortable belt to wear on your waist or on your hips. But at the same time, it's also very rigid. And as you guys will be seeing or probably already noticing, I'm going to be rolling in footage of me uh, kind of doing running back and forth and before I do each run I do two sets of runs and before I do each run I kind of show you what I'm running with and those are short runs they are not gigantic but they're to kind of give you guys an idea to see how much the gear actually moves and how solidly the system locks everything down and I will say some of these things especially like this has a little bit of movement to itself and of course like this thing to this Max Vision Janus Versa Pack all these things in and of themselves will have a little bit of movement just because the pouch or you know the holster or whatever is not exactly perfect but it gives you this belt it gives you a rough idea of how well this belt is locking everything to my hips and <clears throat> I will have to say that like I said this being such a small and lightweight belt it actually does a really impressive job at locking everything down in addition of course I, I know I wasn't gonna break the belt buckle but just to kind of test the whole Cobra lock here I also did some pull-ups. I apologize for not doing more pull-ups. This, this belt, if you couldn't already imagine, is insanely uncomfortable to actually do pull-ups on. But I wanted to do some honest pull-ups, so I did some pull-ups on this belt with um, <clears throat> my full EDC load with this handgun including on my hip. So I was not trying to cheap out on those pull-ups. I was trying to do it with like my full pretty much everyday loadout, which is around 160 pounds. My body weight plus all the gear I carrying included is about 160 pounds so I was putting on this belt so obviously if you guys are familiar with the Cobra buckle that's nowhere near what it would take to actually make a Cobra buckle brace but 
it did just show you guys that this thing can support the body weight of a, a pretty good sized, I'd say a pretty good weighted uh, male. So, <coughs> so that was also another fun experiment. I kind of wanted to just keep this review kind of different and fun. So that's why I did some of the stuff that I did and that's why I'm going to be rolling in. So anyways, like I was saying, uh, there isn't too much to really talk about with this belt. As far as it goes, I really enjoyed the Cobra buckle feature, of course, that is the primary differentiator between this and a traditional belt. And as far as it goes, I've had absolutely no complaints with this buckle. It works just fine. I know there are people out there that really despise, especially people like Wrangler Star that despise the uh, this belt system but personally i don't have anything against it i really do not find um any issues or any faults with this particular buckle i think it's just fine and once again i'm kind of coming from fast text buckle belts and i really do prefer just having the ability to set a rig up on your pants you know like have your gun have your knives have your pack you know have your leatherman or your multi-tool and then you know just leave those on your pants day after day and then at the end of the day you know when you're ready to take your pants off then you just take this and then it's undone and then you can take your pants off and so i really love that feature of this being just really easy to just pop off and then you're done and unlike a traditional leather belt where you'd have to kind of pop it off it's piece and then take it off and you'd always have to readjust it day after day so well that's not a gigantic deal I like this whole fact of you don't have to worry about the adjustments you set it in your adjusted size and how it fits you perfectly uh, and then it's set there another thing I do like I tend to like about these uh, Cobra belt belts uh, is the fact that they're infinitely adjustable one thing that I kind of disliked about um, the leather belt or really all other belts I've dealt with is the fact that I can't move like there's predetermined areas and you can always punch within reason you can always punch new holes that's true in a leather belt especially but sometimes you actually can't and so if, if the belt like holes are just that little bit off you kind of notice whereas with this thing Thing, it's infinitely adjustable all the way from pretty much here and all the way from like out here all the way to here it's infinitely adjustable any point along that line you can just stop and it's adjusted to your waist right where you need your adjustment to be so that infinitely adjustable kind of setup is something that I really prefer so aside from those positives, uh, I, there's not really any negatives in my opinion to this system unless they're purely kind of preferential. And of course, everyone's gonna have their own preference when it comes to a belt. Like I said, there are some people who just straight up would never buy a click belt because it's a Cobra uh, belt buckle. And to those people, uh, I would say that this is definitely not your belt. But if you do enjoy having an easy uh, access belt that you can just easily pop on and off like this uh, you should definitely consider this belt I think the style or the colorations they have multiple different colorations of this belt uh, on click belt and I'll have a link in the description to go check their website out um, but they have a bunch of different colorations and I really like this coloration this is kind of like a really grayish olive so it's a slate olive is what they call it and so it's very very gray <clears throat> and I think it actually looks pretty nice with the two mil edition in the back so you guys can see here it's reinforced with another millimeter so this is just one millimeter and then you have another millimeter of this uh, this nylon strap and as far as the nylon strap goes it's been holding up just fine I have no complaints and this is obviously the nylon strap that gets used the most because whenever you do have to take this belt off I will say like whenever you want to put it on or off a pair of pants most pants cannot accommodate the full size of a I'll show here of this like unit here this is pretty big I know my car hearts being as big as they are they definitely even they cannot accommodate this size here so basically to put this on a pair of pants you take it like I just did there and then you'd thread this element through you know like if you wanted your 
Leatherman, you just thread it through here and then you just continue down the line. So you thread that or you could thread this or you can of course clip things on with a tack lock. This is another thing I will add that I do enjoy about the thinness of this belt is that if you have a really thin belt, and of course this is not the true thickness of the belt, but even this thickness, it's very, very thin. So when putting things like tech locks on or worrying about tech lock compatibility, of course this belt easily accommodates tech locks, as you guys can see, hopefully there. So it easily accommodates tech locks, and that is actually something that's really nice to know because not all belts are as accommodating to tech locks. So especially rigid gun belts, I know that leather belt would just barely accommodate a tech lock. So that was another plus, or that is another plus to this belt. Sorry, I was getting soaked there. It is raining just a little bit right now. But uh, that's another plus to the belt. Um, so once again, there's really not too much downside to this belt in my opinion. But then again, I just tend to be more of a, a person who likes lightweight man-made uh, types of fabric such as nylons or webbing such as these being used in belts. I also really enjoy the clip and the compatibility that this belt gives me to add things such as tech locks or really all of this. All of these things can be easily added to this very very thin uh, belt but what really continues to impress me about this belt is not just the thinness of it or the lightweightness of this belt but it still it has it's lightweight and it's thin but it's also still very rigid you can see that when I put downward force I can get it to bend in I can get it to cave in but it takes actually a lot of force to do that so it's a very very rigid belt and still very thin very lightweight and it makes a really really great everyday carry slash semi-duty belt of course i'm not a police officer so i don't know what really goes on day to day in a duty type of uh, format or what you do in a day's time but certainly in an everyday carry situation or format the two mil duty belt is perfect now i would say i would not personally recommend the one mil because the one mil at least i just have to be left to guess is a lot like this and this bends really really easily and so while it'd be lighter than the two mil <clears throat> Well, it'll be lighter than the two mil it's too bendable in my opinion i think that extra level adds a lot more rigidity to this belt and it's well needed rigidity so while i would not recommend one mil i would recommend two mil at the least they do also make not necessarily this coloration but they do make a three mil uh, duty belt which is once again one step up from this one and i kind of shied away from the three mil belt because it's a little bit too much so I think the two millimeter really hits that perfect spot especially for citizens who are not actively fighting or needing a very heavy and tough belt I think this bridges the gap of being lightweight and being thin and not really cumbersome in a day's time but at the same time being rigid enough so that when you do actually want to carry you know your fully loaded Glock 19 it's really easy to carry and this belt will help support that gun like you need it to be supported so if you do have to do something like a dead sprint then you don't have to worry about this gun flailing in the wind basically as you guys will. that's basically all I have to say about the click belt two mil and olive slate slate olive olive slate one of those two it's one of those two names but anyways guys hopefully you've enjoyed this review and got to see this belt I have been really enjoying it and how it helps me support all my equipment once again hopefully you guys can get kind of an idea of some of the stuff I carry but basically you know Glock 21s Glock 19s both fully loaded usually I carry them with extra mags both respectively so that's a quite a bit of weight there and then you know usually rocking some type of belt knife 
and sometimes when I'm going out into the woods to bushcraft hunt, you know, I'll have the PSK and I almost always have the Leatherman Surge uh, multi-tool on the belt. So it really helps, or this belt really supports everything, I think, really well and it holds it all up on my hips. It doesn't let anything really slide around too much. Obviously each and every carrying system has a little bit of slack in it, but that belt itself is a really firm anchor and I really like that. That's all for now guys. God bless and I'm out.